we're here. Hi folks, we're here with Martin Summers. We're having a great time. No, we're not at Rich Stone Guitars, we're at my house because we're doing something really special. It was Martin's idea to have guitars that rock the world. And so I thought I'd just give a few stories on how I came across these guitars. The first one is my 69 White SG that I bought in 1973. I traded a white 62 Strat for this guitar, believe it or not. And um, it was at Mansfield Carlsborough Sound where I got this SG from. And originally it used to be cherry red. And it was all chipped on the back of the neck. So I had this brainwave of wanting to look like Hendrix's white SG and uh, Ollie Halsell from Pato. And so what we did is we had it re-sprayed white. The guy that designed the album cover, the first Saxon album cover, Mick Schofield, he did that Hendrix in Indian ink, it's hand, hand drawn in Indian ink and then covered in lacquer. It's not something I've done now, but when you're a teenager you do deaf things, don't you? <laughs> but this guitar's been with me through all the years. I even took it back to Kalamazoo when we first tour of America. We played in uh, Kalamazoo with Black Sabbath and this guitar went back to the factory because we were shown around just before they shut it down and they moved to Nashville. And this guitar, I've wrote many riffs on this guitar, like Dallas 1pm. Power and the Glory. Six Form Girl. Never Surrender. For an old guitar, you can do loads of squeaks and squalls, Martin. I just, I, I'm, I'm really, I just try and move camera up to that headstock because that headstock is just, yeah. that is just Staying a bit battered now. All, all, all Gibson decal and everything's coming off, and that is class. That, that yeah. is real class. So that reef, and as you can see, it's a different colour. But this guitar's been around the world a lot of times. It's been to Japan. It's done all the studio albums. And uh, people ask me loads of questions, will I bring it out again? But they've discovered a new way of splitting the atom, send it Ryanair. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't send this guitar. I dare, last time I took it to Spain, it got lost. And I did get it back, and I've had it stolen once and got it back. Wow. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it's, this is a Bill Lawrence L500. When we went to Nashville in 84, Bill Lawrence summoned us to his uh, workshop, which you're working for Gibson at the time, Martin. And what he did is, he gave me some pickups. I think he gave Angus Young four and Keith Richards a couple. I've never seen any of them guys on that they use it. Um, but I've used them and it's a really powerful pickup and I've used it ever since. I've got it on a, two or three of my guitars. So I've got a couple of hard tail strats that I use in concert pitch for jam nights and they've got uh, L500 original 80s Bill Lawrence I think they're made under license now but if you can get hold of one they really rock yep excellent and just butting in uh, what's your how do you get your sound on your amp is it just like organic or I use you... one boss graphic uh, I, because I've been doing a lot of festivals over the last few years it's, it's a question of travelling light and what I've been doing is just using a Boss graphic and just it's just knowing how to use a, a Marshall uh, uh, 800 that's what I, I normally use but it, most good amps I can get a decent sound out of just a few tweaks providing they're all working correctly all valves are good and what have you uh, sometimes it falls down in smaller gigs because you need to crank them and you can't and I've not got the facility I mean I've got a load of pedals but um, I try and be as pedal free as possible and just use controls in the amp old pretty old school you know not like wasps in jars so you I do sort of roll volume on and off more yeah. than yeah 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 I, I work with volume controls yeah I mean when, with these guitars you can like Dallas 1pm <laughs> You've got that woman tone, like you know, like Clapton did and Slash uses. 
great neck pickle. And this guitar has been a great tool. I even use tremolo songs like Crusader. <laughs> pretty amazing really for an antiquated thing that's not supposed to work. So that's the SG-69, um, been round the block a few times, still a great action and great guitar to play, I just don't take it out very often, but they have done a signature model, vintage, and uh, for the price, I know it's a budget guitar, but it's only budget by name, it's a great guitar and they've actually metered that pickup and made their own guitar. But the, uh, the, old, the pickup that matches the output of that pickup, Bill Lawrence. But the problem is, they only did a limited edition of the guitar and it's sold out now. <laughs> so, unless I do another one, makes I don't it flexible know. as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. When we were on tour with Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rhodes took a shine to this guitar. Oh my god, big Randy Rhodes for you. Big Back in uh, 86, I think it were, we got contacted cool. by Fernandez and they gave us a couple of guitars each. I've got two of these, other ones in bits at the guitar repairers. <laughs> Cause it, I went to Prague with this from years ago, I took it out at case and headstock wasn't happy enough. But locking nut was still there, and it was still in tune. <laughs> and Stuart Palmer mended it for me, but now it's, I've been undergoing the extensive repairs to have it recommissioned. And, um, I've used these, you see me in videos and photos since 86 using this because when it became in vogue for Eddie Van Halen and Floyd Rose and Locking Trems, I mean Gibson just didn't cut it, we were doing songs like Motorcycle Man. <laughs> motorbikes and uh, so we got this these work pretty good I just had new posts put in this because they were a bit, little bit worn out but I've used these guitars um, well so I think I've been the longest user of Fernandez guitars that I can that I, that I know of I contacted him a couple of months ago for some spare parts and I, I didn't really get any joy from them, you know, which is a bit of a shame really, because they're very much American orientated now. The people that I knew and uh, aren't there anymore. So. But the trend work, just like people do. I mean, Yeah, uh, it's like drop D. I'm sick of hearing that as well. Mind it, oh, I love drop D, but it's getting a little bit repetitive. There's no, um, it's all dirge. There's no, there's not much melody. There's, there's some bands that are doing really good things with it, and some that's just doing like a drone in drop D. Or yeah, something. yeah. But this is, uh, it's not, a, it's a, a bolted on neck, and it's got a couple of low impedance pickups.
you've got to look that up. Well, that's rock and roll. Yeah. I suppose people are going to be wondering what gauge strings you use. Probably not, probably not like what brand or I don't know. But yeah, it's, a, it's a question that yeah. um, I use an uh, Italian firm called Yorzio, and I use nine to forty-two. Excellent. Yeah. I'm on right track. <laughs> you, is that what you yeah. use? Yeah. Can't get on with tens or elevens. They kill me. Run out Stevie Ray Vaughan. No. It? That's what you've got to watch over with the Gemlows, is putting them out of tune with if you're a bridge player. <laughs> you can easily do that, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Everything modern, modern modern guitars should, but I think engineering in the guitars now is so so great. I think when, uh, well, I suppose when we were, when we were both younger, there were only a few quality guitars out there, and, and now it, it's hard to break from that. You go in a music shop and, and you're looking at Gibsons and Fenders, but you you, you try your Fernandes and they're just awesome. You, you've got your vintage, they're great guitars, yeah. but it's it's that, I think when when you grow up and, like I remember Les Paul's 400 quid, you know, for a, a brand new Les Paul, yeah. um, so Les Paul's and Fenders and there were other guitars and stuff, but it were either top quality or a plank of wood with strings on. That's right. <laughs> 